to quick 3D tutorials. Today's video I will show you how to create grass inside Arnold and in this uh, documentation they have uh, described or step-by-step -step tutorials how you can do this. Uh, and if you check my channel, there are actually you can use XGen, you can use the paint effect and you can use the masha to creating a uh, different type of the grass. And if you have some of texture, you want to apply it if it is not grass anything else you uh, I have also showing how you can apply the texture and how it is if you want all the color in the uh, root and the tip to be changed to one color or different color and the last thing so if you're working with a large scene so that is a good idea to get tip about how you can uh, uh, optimize your scene but for now we're just focusing about this and the way we have uh, showing it inside this page. So we jumping to Maya. I have already creating a plane and I have a direct light. And the thing we need also is if I go to the Arnold light, Sky Dome light, we need to apply this Sky Dome light as well. So we can see what is going to on. So next we selecting the plane, we're going to the X gen and you can find it here or here and it should be by the default setting. And here we have getting the grass or the spline. And if I just very quickly render it, so you can see, yeah, it is not so much. But if you're working with a large scene and you don't want to see everything, let's see, I want maybe 37% I want to see or maybe zero. But if I uh, go to render, you will see this here is the same but that is only in the viewport so that is very important thing to know the next thing uh, we're looking to is the destiny so how much of these uh, spline we want to have and uh, and you can of course go higher in this slider but be careful not go too crazy uh, let's see not starting by uh, starting by 1000 maybe it is maybe too much so maybe 200 300 and so on and to find where you want to go with uh, and of course if you think uh, this video we're talking about the different type and techniques about uh, if you're working with a large scene so uh, now we have the spline uh, and the spline have cv so it means they have five or three if you want go to the less and that's going to be used for the um, for the controlling or shaping the every single spline uh, we have the length and if I go to uh, this setting you can of course using it but if you have a larger or smaller scene maybe this number should be larger or less so that is also important thing but i want also show you some tip or a way maybe i don't want i want have to be high as you can see it is every of these single is like even maybe i want to have kind of random things going on of course i can just uh, type the random but i like to have the sliding option so i just saying Multiply it by the rand and now you want to find which number to which number it should make it to be random So I think maybe 0 0.5 by 1 or 1.5 or 3 or whatever And we're just going to apply So what you think now I have the sliding control to control the length and I have also the random but if you want to be more or less random, you need to go to the expression and change this number to something else. Let's see for now this. So you're going to get more different things about it. Maybe it was too much, but anyway. Uh, so that is a way to do this. And of course we can use the taping. It's going to taping the top and taping the start. And you can of course go ahead and shape the shape do you like by this curve. Okay. So that is different things you can do. And deleting it by pressing X and make it bigger if you want to have special things. Uh, 
Uh, now we came to the how we can make this to be random or make it to be quarterly or something like this. Uh, we have of course an option here if you're going to the noise you can apply this if I just show you this very quickly and by the noise we can use this and we can also use the masking um, or maybe here we want it to be five and by this we can controlling how much we want and so on that is an option to do this but if you don't want to use this just update the scene uh, we can also use um, the bend U, the bend V, and the uh, bend parment. And every of these, if we're looking, we have saying what we need to type for the bend U and bend V. So maybe I'm going to use this. Uh, and what it does actually, if I just playing around, you can see we have only one direction. I'm putting it back to the zero, and that is for V direction. Okay, so we want to make it to be blending it. So in this case, we need to change this. Again, of course, you can use all of this script, but I'm going to use only this because I want to have my slider to be on. So multiply it by this and apply it. And if we just doing it, so you can see some of them going this direction and other to other direction. And the same thing for this we're going to do. Multiply it by this and accept or apply so here we have now the different direction so for the next things they're going to show uh, showing you is this one and of course if you like to using it the same or other depend what do you like you're going to I'm going to change this one oh. change this again by multiply it by this and accept so and if I any time I can just play around with this slider to get how much thing I want to have on and of course this one for the thickness how thick it should be maybe it is too thick but just a fast way to see what is going to be on the next part of this is how you can apply a shader and how you can use the XGen to create the different random coloring for you. In the next video, I will show you how you can use and find the color, especially uh, when you're going to use the expression. But in this case, we're just uh, creating it uh, by the way they have presented it. But if you want to learn how you can come with your custom random color, in the next video, we're going to describe this. So for now, we're going to the hybrid shade. And we're just creating uh, Arnold AI standard, which is uh, AI standard sol uh, surface shader, and type this to be grass. And for the color here, we don't putting any color. We're going to use something called I think AI date uh, user data color. And inside this, we need to type. And this things you're going to type here, you need to type and get inside the XGen. I'm going to show you this. So we're saying color or maybe grass color. And the same thing like this, you have typing it. It is very important. Just copy this. And now we're going to apply this one by middle mouse click until color. So the coloring came from here. And this one is being controlling by the exchange. So, and for make it faster, I don't want to have this. It's going to help a lot of to speed up the render time. And the next things is we need, of course, uh, apply this. Go to Outliner. Select the description. Right click, assign material to selection. And now you can see it has been changing to the white. So, um, yes. So now we're going to the preview. The first thing is choose the Arnold render. And now we're going to something called custom shader parameter. 
and we type this grass color if you have typing another name you're going to type this inside here i'm going to change color and plus and here we have the expression so uh, again in this video i don't talking so much about the coloring but the expression for the coloring was something right here is going to make a different type of color by green so dark green and light green oh where we are here we are and that is i'm going to paste and accept don't know if you have seen it you can see a preview of what we're going to get of course i cannot see anything here if I go to render, you can see now we have getting green, but they are not all of them is green. Some of them is uh, like yellowish and some of is green and so on. And uh, for make it better, uh, we need to have a lot of more grasses, so it is looking better. And there are something I will also talking about the lighting, if you're going to lighting uh, 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 lighting grass or lighting hair or something like this inside the Arnold uh, if we look into the setting there the first thing specular if you turn this off in your shader is going to help you a lot of time and the other thing is uh, global illumination actually they are put this to the zero but depend if you like this result to so make it but for now I just turn this off something going to be a bit more darker and the other thing is if you have some object now I have just making very simple cube I want the shadow be casting and so on and this kind of and the direct light should be very you need to choose uh, the right one so if I just go to this kind of light uh, the best thing is give it a little bit uh, uh, transparency shadow so it, all the light can came through all the object is help a lot of to removing the noise and of course the sampling to be three but for now I just to make it faster I putting it to be one and uh, the second thing is you need to go very high with your uh, direct light so if I sing there I can actually not see so much of the grass uh, of the shadow they are been casting so the thing is uh, we need to use this to be maybe zero point I don't know seven or something like this and we want to have this one to be five or four or whatever but this way is going to sh uh, casting more shadow and of course as higher you're going as uh, more things you will get and the last things you can also control the how much uh, grasses can get uh, the grasses how much they can get the light information you can also inside the Arnold shader by this you think okay these should getting more light or less light and maybe I playing like this so we think the getting less light you can see it is completely dark everything and if it, we think more light so by this way you getting get more and more light you're going to get on this and uh, you're going to play around with these uh, different things to getting what uh, vision of the grasses you like and in the next video we're going to talking about how we can get the different color like yellow green or whatever it is red blue or whatever things you want so we're going to describe it uh, better so and uh, thank for watching